Good morning, it's Elaine with Elaine's Custom Cards, and this is the card we're making today. It opens like this. And I'm using free paper today. So, let's get started on this card. I have everything cut out. Let me tell you the products I used first. I used this free paper. It's um, in the celebration on page 12 and 13. It comes with the paper and the stamp set. And I'm going to be using this um, particular image today. And then the backs of the paper looks like this. It's very pretty. I really like this. They especially like this stripe. But we're using these two today. So that's a free paper you can get with a $100 order. <clears throat> you can go to my online store. Excuse me for my rough sounding voice. I got a frog this morning. <clears throat> so, anyway, this is free with a $100 purchase. And the other um, stamp set that I'm going to be using for the sentiments, <clears throat> excuse me, is this Expressions of Friendship that you can get using your Stampin' Rewards. So if you do a $150 sale, you get $15 in Stampin' Rewards. And this particular stamp set is only... 1350 so you can buy it with your reward so it's basically free when you spend hundred and fifty dollars so you can get this and the the other stamp set and paper free plus if you spend hundred and fifty dollars there's other things in here you can get for free that with a fifty dollar purchase so if you spend hundred and fifty dollars you could get this Daffodil Afternoon paper and this set for free. Anyway, I just want to make sure and tell you that. And then I'm using a few things out of the annual catalog. But I'll make a list of everything that I'm using in all the sizes and dimensions that I use to make this card. So, let's get started. You have a piece of 11 by 4 and a quarter cardstock and I scored it in two places <clears throat> excuse me five and a half and then this is um, four and a quarter so you can score here and here and then I went ahead and stamped my sentiment from the expressions of friendship and I used this one for the inside of this card and for the inside of this card, I used um, this one right here. And then I used the happy birthday on both of them on the front. So, <clears throat> let's get started. Set this over here. This is um, Shaded Spruce. And I stamped in Shaded Spruce. And what I did was, I took a piece of this... Um, DSP and I cut it to where there was a right side up bird because they are both directions on here and so I wanted to get a bird you know that was right side up so you can kind of judge where you want to cut this to get a right side up bird I didn't want my birdie upside down and this piece of DSP is a four inch square the shaded spruce cardstock is um, <clears throat> one and one eighth inch square. And like I said, I'll have um, all of these dimensions on my uh, blog, so you don't have to remember if you don't want to. I know I like seeing them and being able to go somewhere where they're listed. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, this is a piece of the striped DSP from that same paper. Oh, 
hopefully my glue will last. And I just glued that to here. Okay, it's like so. And then I took my um, bird and I glued it to the right side of the card where it opens like this. I just centered that. It's like so. It's a really small border. Now you could use um, shaded spruce cardstock for your base. It's you know entirely up to you however you want to make your card look or you can use some of the other paper. Possibilities are pretty much endless. Then I glued this piece to this side like so. Just kind of tried to make it even or as even as I could. like so. Okay, and then I glued this. I used the, um, I'll show you which punch I used for this. Because it, the happy birthday fit perfectly in there. I used this punch right here to, uh, punch those out. And this is, um, Fresh Freesia, basic white, regular. This is basic white, thick cardstock. And then, of course, I stamped it with the um, shaded spruce. Okay, the next thing I did was I took this petal pink ribbon and I, before I glued it down, well, what I did is opened it up. And I want this. Um, a bow right here. I think I did it like this. I'm kind of particular on how I have to tie my bows to get them to come out the way I want. So I think I did it like this. Nope. Sometimes I feel like I'm backwards. Let's try it this way. Mm. I like my these thing these tails to be in a certain direction, so I have to tie my bows a certain way to get it to do that. So basically, you're tying them upside down. Well, what I consider upside down anyway. So anyway, I tied this on here just like so. I centered this, but you can do it however you like. I wanted it centered. I think that tail is too long. You can use any color ribbon that matches this paper. I just chose this because it's a kind of a sheer and it matches the petal pink in the paper. That's why I picked this ribbon. So let's see if we can get this tied on here. <coughs> I don't usually tie bows on camera, but this one I had to. So, once you get it on there, then you're going to start adjusting your tails here. So you get it to look the way you want before we tack it down. Just like so. Okay. And you're just going to trim your tails kind of at an angle, like so. Trim this one a little bit. And let's see. Sorry, let's try it this way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Sometimes I feel a little awkward in how I'm trying to cut something. Anyway, that's your bow. Then I took a paper pumpkin glue dot because I saved them because I like them for this um, application. And I put it behind my bow. Right on the bow. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Put 
that on there. And then made sure it was centered because I want it centered and just stuck it down just like so. Okay. And I kind of arranged this so that it was centered here. And then this is when I glued it. I took my glue and I'm going to glue <coughs> here. If I can get glue to come out. Yeah. Here. Here. Come on. Must be time for a new glue bottle. And then I put some glue on the ribbon. And it'll soak through the ribbon. You don't want it moving, slipping out of there. And then I just close the card. It's like so. And that makes it so you have a card that opens like this. Okay? I'm just kind of smooth it down like that. Okay? And then I clean up all my little dabs of glue. <laughs> I took my happy birthday and I took dimensionals and put dimensionals on it. So. And then you kind of put it where you want it. On this one, I think I'm going to put it right down here in this corner. Just like so. Okay. And then I took my um, rhinestones and I used, um, I think I used uh, these ones right here. And just kind of just randomly put them in places. Um, but you want them in a triangular shape or orientation. So, oops, you just kind of arrange them on there to, to the, look good to you. Let's put one, eh, I don't want it there. Let's put it right here, okay? So there's that. Now for the inside, you can see on here how I did this. Um, it's up to you whether or not you want to use um, Stampin' Write markers and color the flower um, or color it the stamp or if you want to take say uh, your shaded spruce which we can do that with this one and just shaded spruce Stamp, you can see what I'm doing here. Stamp your flower. Okay. Then you can take your stamp and write markers. You don't want to use blends because it'll bleed through to the other side of your cardstock. So you can take your markers and just color in your flower. Like so. You can do it either way. This is a softer look than this, but they both look good. And then I used uh, um, this is Granny Apple Green. I used Granny Apple Green here. And there's your card. If you are interested in ordering anything, um, you can go to my website, lanedotson.stampinup.net, and order products. And I wanted to show you the alternatives I did for the um, January um, Kisses and Hugs Paper Pumpkin. 
If you're interested in learning how I made any of these, please leave me a comment and I will do um, a video on how I made these cards. They were, they're pretty simple. And this is the box that's in the uh, January to June mini catalog. And I just decorated it with the uh, envelope and die cut the hearts out. And then I put um, the plastic behind, the clear plastic. That's how I did that. So I hope you have a blessed day. Be sure and use my host code if you order between a hundred and fifty or between fifty dollars and one hundred and forty nine ninety nine. Um, it's a good time to sign up as a demonstrator because you get for ninety nine dollars you get one hundred twenty five dollars worth of product, no postage, plus two free stamp sets of your choice, except the ones in the celebration. Any other stamp sets. So you have a blessed day and have fun stamping.